I really hate to show y'all what's behind here. I took a look at it earlier. It wasn't pretty. So no doubt this filter's shot. Ugh. Man, it's got... Heck, it's got a piece of grass growing in it right there. There's roots. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry about that. That's pretty rough. Let's get that stuff away from there. Don't need it getting sucked up in there. Alright, <clears throat> there's another problem is the choke's going to be stiff. I'll lube it up right now and let's check to see the throttle throttle cables locked up too so i gotta do some cable maintenance here now i haven't put any fuel in the tank yet because i haven't uh looked down in there i gotta go get a light out of the truck it's pouring down rain so what i want to do right now is just try to start it off the bottle. Just put a little gas in there and see if I can get it to fire. Cause I, I didn't see a spark, um, but I could have a bad ground up here, you know, trying to trying to ground the spark plug to a rusty piece of metal probably is the best thing. So let's just see if we can get any life out of this thing. So according to the owner's manual, yes, I still have the owner's manual, <laughs> the original. The throttle needs to be in about the halfway position. You choke as required, which I'm going to fully choke it after I put a little fuel in there. All your levers are in neutral. Put my fuel in there. Let's see. We can just get it to fire. Alright, nothing yet. So now I'm going to check for some spark. I just shot a little fuel down inside the down inside the cylinder. I put some fuel in the tank. Tank valve is open. I'm not giving up on this thing just yet. I'm pretty sure I'm not getting any spark. Yuck. It turns out I don't have any spark and uh, started looking at the, at the manual as far as getting into the magneto and checking all that stuff out but then when I looked at the magneto I noticed you know there's a wire I don't know if you can see that down there you've got a, a two kill switches on this tractor one right here this little button you push it and ground everything out to the side of the magnetic case and it'll kill it the other other kill switch is in the end of this panel bar here you push it in and it kills it so i took my multimeter and i ran it one lead one lead to this little bare this bare metal arm right here that you would manually kill the tractor here with the other lead to here a little bare metal right there and it showed that i have continuity so that means that this tractor will never have spark as, as you know until i figure out why the uh everything's grounded out so right now i've been running a wire up under here 
trying to create a channel and squirting some lubricant in there so I'm loosening this thing up. I get the handle off and check the stop switch and see what's going on. That's where I'm at right now, trying to get to my spark. Okay, I just took a rag and wrapped around that uh, handle and used some channel locks and got the handle off. I'm pulling the switch out now and I see that uh, somebody, probably my dad, has been in this before. He's probably had a problem with the switch before. He's got a little duct tape wrapped around here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feed the wire up the handle way down there feed it and pull the switch out at the same time and then do some testing on the switch a little duct tape, a little electrical tape and that switch is, I'm betting that switch is not any good. I'll see here in a second. Okay, the only thing abnormal that I see inside the switch is that this little part right here is bent differently than the other side. So I'm going to straighten that out. I'm going to take some, or well, take and clean this up on the inside, put it all back together and see if I can get a different reading out of the switch. This would be caused most likely from the switch being pushed harder than necessary when you're trying to kill the machine. Just pushing the switch in there harder than it needs to be <clears throat> would probably bend that. This, this may be a really simple, simple, simple fix. We'll see. So now, it, now the tab there is more in the center of the push button. When I pulled it off, this, the, this tab was way over here on the side. Now that goes in here. Like that. Your spring. Right there. That's all the parts. Now it goes back on the body that's still attached to the tractor. Okay, I've actually disconnected the switch from the tractor, so anything that's going on from the wire back is not going to affect my testing of the switch. I want to show you guys a mistake you can make when you're testing for continuity on a switch which will lead you to believe that the switch is faulty all we need to know is is it going to be open or closed okay so i'm going to test the switch in an open position in other words i'm not going to press the button i'm going to hold the i'm going to hold the lead with my finger on the body of the switch and on the terminal it should be open line but it's not you know why it's not measuring the switch it's measuring me see the switch is down there by holding my finger on the leads it's measuring the resistance in my body from thumb to thumb so the way to do it of course is to not touch anything with your fingers that switch is open. These are kind of hard to test. Okay, the switch is open. And now it's closed. Open. Closed. Okay, so the switch is good. Closed. Resistance to my body.
remember that it might save you 12 bucks <laughs> looks like I'm gonna have to go into the magneto <clears throat> there's four screws that hold this thing on um, I've broken them loose already I had to use a, a bit and a ratcheting wrench to be able to get in here it's pretty pretty tight down here at the bottom Alright, got those little screws out of there. <clears throat> got a gasket here, it's pretty important to not tear it up. It's supposed to keep water out and stuff, you know. There we go. A little, little bit of dust in there. <laughs> Boy, it looks clean in there. That's good. That's good. See if I can ease this gasket off. Yep. That goes on top. Okay, what you're looking at right there the greenish looking stuff that's where your points that's your points where they open and close and they do open they do close however they look dirty I'm going to uh, take a little uh, I think I've got some emery cloth or something in the sandpaper drawer over there I'm gonna take and try to clean those up <clears throat> 